senator, you, you, you were a member of the National Assembly. Yes. Um, not one, not two, not three. In our fact, late uh, Professor Chinachebe was one of the few fellows that have said that the cost of governance in Nigeria is just horrendous. Now, as a former senator, mm -hmm. with the benefit of hindsight, what would you say to that? Now, let me, let me give you, when we were in the Senate, for instance, we don't discuss our enumeration on the floor of the Senate. You don't come and discuss your enumeration. By the government determine whatever, whatever is being paid to us. And I think the total annual package package was about 1.2 million naira when we were in the Senate. Just that? Yes. And we don't interfere in the governance. We only make laws and make sure we keep watch on the on the uh, on the government to ensure that uh, they execute what they promise to do for the people. If you remember, it was during our own that we have the June 12th. And we wrestle uh, uh, the president until he leaves, because he, he annulled June 12. So you will see the major difference. Now the the uh, the uh, a member of National Assembly can now uh, uh, what do they call it? Award constituency projects, constituency projects, and so on and so forth. It's diminishing. And now they are, they are now into trouble because people in their constituency now say, he hasn't done anything for me. He did this, he did that, and so on and so forth. But if they have absorbed themselves from contracts, they will be looked with honor. Nobody will expect them to come and do any constituency project. They are just supposed to ensure that their, their area is not being left out. out. And not to involve themselves in... So I, I was listening to somebody two days ago who was complaining that, well, my member of the National Assembly earns about 40 million a month since he has there. Uh, uh, we hasn't done anything here. We don't see him. We appointed him. Now, this is the, during our time. In fact, when we visit, they, they give us presents. Oranges, banana, they load with fish, they load our boots and give us applause. And I think we can still return to that. That is exactly what I want us to now look at. So how do we return to that? How do we get, number one, we don't seem to have any ombudsman that actually oversees what the National Assembly is doing. The National Assembly says is having a check on the presidency, but who is having a check on the National Assembly? No. The, the problem started when the National Assembly said they want to have their own budget. And their own budget must be a fraction of the national budget. That was where the problem started. That was where the problem started. And people thought at that time that, okay, maybe they have their own budget. budget will they will be independent. Yes. They will not rely on government. But it's not so. We still have. The water level in Lagos State is very low. And therefore, uh, to build roads in this side of Victoria Island, Lekki, is very, very expensive. It's three times the, cost. the normal cost of building road in Ojota and so on and, and so forth. Because we have to use uh, pavement 
to build these roads here. As you as you will see when yeah. you go out here, that most of the roads are made of uh, uh, pavement and so on and so forth. Then two, because of the low water level, for the first one hour there is rain, you will see water everywhere. Everywhere. But after one hour, majority of that water will disappear. We should give kudos to the to the governor to have achieved that. I was living in Akoka before. Water drove me away from there. Water drove me away from there. I almost lost my life there. Hmm. And uh, but since hello? hello, hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Yeah, good morning. Your question, please, very quickly. Your question, quickly. Hello. You are welcome. Your question and lower the volume of your TV set. Okay, my name is Yola. Hello. You have to lower the volume of your TV set, okay. otherwise, Senator Akifuye cannot. Okay, my question is: I want to ask uh, Senator Akifuye. Yes. The issue of uh, the uh, the people being uh, marginalized in the administration. We just want to know Senator, where are you because you are Senator. not happy about what is happening. Or the administration from uh, Jonathan to. Well, we are working on it. As I said before, we have met the president on two occasions. I also mentioned that uh, uh, even the the board of all these um, parasitals, parasitals, uh, somebody was discovered to be bearing Mackinde Williams whom we counted to be a Yoruba man, and we discovered that he's not a, 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 a Yoruba man. Uh, I, I was, uh, during the um, conference, uh, I was being told that quite a lot of appointments that will be done very soon are going to have uh, the Yoruba will, will be compensated for this uh, marginalization. But there are some other people who believe that we are not even marginalized at all. There are some people who believe we are not marginalized. They keep arguing with us. And if you, if you saw the paper we produce, we produce documents to show this marginalization in every sector. sector. Finance, you know, whatever sector it was. And it was obvious and clear that we are being marginalized. marginalized. Okay. Now, when you say marginalized, you're talking about federal government appointments. Yes. Right? It's not like uh, in terms of uh, the dispensation or the dis disposition of Eurobans to either making wealth or, uh, or no, contributing. No, 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 no. Look, I'm not talking about political appointment now. Even if you look at permanent secretaries, Eurobans are not there. If you look at directors, Eurobans are not there. We, we, we publish all this for you. We publish it in the papers. And where we have Yoruba as a general manager, they were being removed. And being replaced with Southeast or Northwest. And somebody was telling me, well, because you know, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the uh, vice president is from the Northwest, uh, <laughs> the pretending uh, president <laughs> is from, from the, the Northeast, North and therefore, when they, they share this thing among them, should that be the procedure? You do you share the, 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 this thing between four people? Hello, hello, yes, good morning, you're welcome, good morning. Your, hello, name, hello. your name, please, it's and uh, your question. Yeah, uh, we appreciate your uh, program, and uh, we appreciate uh, what uh, you said, uh, I think you said. Hello, okay. your question. Yeah, uh, the issue of uh, the issue of the uh, Yoruba people being uh, marginalized in uh, the government and the Yoruba people being marginalized in the government and the Yoruba people you have, you have asked the right question. So what should therefore be the procedure to this appointment? Because now it's like somebody is just uh, uh, playing Oliver Twist with, you know, with, with a national appointment. You know, we have a board of federal character. They should look into this properly and come out with a report and say, no, we are not marginalized. Or yes, we are marginalized. That board of federal character should work on what we have provided and come out with a paper. That is one. Number two, you see, when the, let me give example, when Obasanjo became president, we had six baskets. These this portfolios, 
were divided into this basket equally. Six and baskets then, representing the six zones. Six zones. And then, because we, the, we, we, we uh, the president came from the southwest, we picked last. Mm. The zone with the least picked first of the, from the basket. The next, the second basket. The third, the next basket, so on and so forth, until we pick the sixth. Mm. And therefore, what is not in your basket, you C cannot, cannot claim contest it. for it. Okay, so we have another caller online. Yes, good morning. <clears throat> good morning. Okay, 